Welcome back to our journey. We're Phil and Jed. In case you missed our last episode, we just wrapped up two unforgettable days exploring Tokyo, and now we find ourselves in a new country. We've made it to China. <laughs> After we arrived in Pudong Airport, we caught the train to the city center and found ourselves getting distracted with the flower vending machine. Oh, it unlocked. So. Wow. We collected the vending machine sunflower and then walked from the train station to our hotel, the Golden Tulip Fund in Malaysia. We're staying here for one night and tomorrow we'll check into another hotel. And here is the room tour. The room we had is a superior room with a king size bed. It was quite a small room but it had everything we needed and it is going to be a hotel that we are going to stay at for future Shanghai trips. The highlight of this room definitely is the view we had of the skyline. After we settled into the hotel, we caught a DD and headed to a nearby massage shop for a foot massage. DD is a major ride sharing platform in China, similar to Uber, and an extremely affordable option when looking at transport in Shanghai. We are now Shanghai, and Phil and me, because the last few days were very tired, and we took a lot of roads. 所以我们到上海的第一件事情就是休脚。I'm <laughs> excited. This was an incredibly interesting experience and highly recommended. We had a massage and foot scrub for just under 100 yuan, 20 Australian dollars, for 90 minutes. Part of a foot scrub involved lighting the salt on fire before the salt was rubbed into our feet. After the massage, we went to a nearby local restaurant for dinner just before midnight, which is where we ended our first night in Shanghai. Good morning from our beautiful Shanghai view. Morning. 我特别想吃油条,所以我准备带Phil去尝一下这里的早餐 For our first morning in Shanghai, we embarked on a street food adventure to find some iconic Chinese breakfast delights. Our journey began with Yo Tao, crispy fried dough sticks that are often paired with soy milk or congee. Oh, so many food here. Next up, we couldn't resist. It was time for a Jianbing, a savory crepe filled with eggs, any type of protein you like, and delicious sauces. Thank you. Eight dollars. This is a really basic one, but I hope it's yummy. Okay. It's hot, really hot. Okay. I'll let you back. Who are you filming? Let's try again. Let's keep walking. After a recommendation from a passing local, we walked a short distance to find another shop that specializes in Jianbing. You're really professional. Oh my god, look Jet, my favorite. Jianbing Guozi Li Jiro Jia Sheng Tai. I'll give you a fancy one. Okay. Jia. Okay. 
How much? Only two dollar. For two? Cheers. Cheers. After a brief ride in a DD, we arrived at the North Bund. The North Bund is a captivating waterfront area that blends modern and historic so incredibly well. The North Bund has iconic metal sculptures that seamlessly integrate with the urban landscape. This is an egg. Hello， 大家好，我们现在刚换到新的酒店，啊、嗯，这个酒店我们会在这里待三晚。And here's the room tour. Kitchen. Ooh, big. Wow, huge. Wow, our view is so special. <laughs> Construction. Oh, spacious. Good. We are going to find dinner, our dinner. Uh, it's Shenzhen. I think it's like Shanghai buns. Yes. Very yum. It's like a Shanghai style. Like in Beijing, you have hu tong. Mm -hmm. Just in, in Shanghai, they call long tang. Shaolong Bao is something we both love eating in Australia. We couldn't visit China without trying it. After walking through the local Shanghai streets, we arrived, ordered some bubble tea, and went to Yang's. We got the goods. This is new bread. I never tried this bread.
After we ate the Shaolin Bao, we headed straight to Nanjing Road. Is it like you remember it? Mm. It's too sad. Nanjing Road's a vibrant shopping street which stretches for miles and has iconic global and Chinese brands as well as historic buildings. At the end of Nanjing Road is the equally iconic Bund. So we're just at the Bund, um, which is where you can get an amazing view of the skyline of Shanghai. Um, I'm about to round the corner, I can already start to see some of it and it looks amazing. There's a lot, a lot of people. A lot of police. There it is. now and um, we're gonna go down to Nanjing Road um, walk back and maybe get some barbecue yep. Now we are at Lanjing Road. Mm. Yeah, so and also we we saw the barn. The how barn? You, yeah. How of the barn. How did you feel? Good. Uh, beautiful, hard to capture in photos. How beautiful it really is. Yeah. Hopefully some of the videos I did shows it justice. Yeah, I I just feel the weather is amazing. Mm. So the moon? Hmm. And everything was good. Um, yeah, less people, actually less people, less traffic uh, than I saw. Mm. Yeah. So many shops here, I'm looking at all the food stalls. Yeah. Uh, Oh, so small. Good. Mm. Okay, for Okay, the money's just come out, three yeah. dollars. After buying a coffee from a vending machine on Nanjing Road, we caught the metro to our late night dinner place a long time ago barbecue. Hands down, this barbecue was one of my favourite meals in China. Everyone not really 
We just had this for dinner, right? 对，我们刚刚吃完，呃，烤羊肉串，哦，非常好吃。这个店叫很久以前羊肉串，啊、呃，值得，我觉得是非常值得去的，而且他们的服务特别好，就是每个人都很热情，然后他们会帮你烤，然后就是价格也还可以，所以我觉得很不错。They give us some present. This is like a milk candy from Inner Mongolia, and also they give fill a can inside of the can. There's some seed. Mm. It's grass mm. and uh, from, like a little plant. Yeah, from Inner Mongolia. So it's really cool. Needless to say, that will not be unfortunately coming back to Australia because customs will not like that. Yes, and so, I don't want to have to deal with that when I yeah. return. Um, okay. But yeah, we're gonna head back to the hotel now. It's yeah. what? It's a uh, quarter past ten. Yeah. Compared with yesterday, today is quite early actually. But on the road, you can see a lot of people, and the restaurant still open. Hmm. Oh. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Another day here in Shanghai. Uh, today it's about eleven o'clock. A um, bit of a sleep in, which was well needed after all the walking yesterday. Uh, I've got my flat white here. We're off to have some breakfast. Where are we headed? Ah, we're now going to eat Wuhan Xiaoqi, ah, dough pie. So, we're all very happy. Ah, 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 we're all very happy. The last one we had up was Melbourne, right? Mm. That's when I had it last. After leaving the shopping mall, we caught a train to Xintiandeng to get on the hop-on, hop-off bus that we had booked for the day. This will be our main transportation as we hit some popular tourist hotspots for the day. Ah, we're now to Xintiandeng, and here people are still quite a few, and the weather is good because the weather is good, so everyone is here to sit here and have a cup of tea. Ah, here we are really nice. Me and Phil are both very happy here. We are now at Xintiandeng. 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 We highly recommend this and we'll be booking this again for our next Shanghai trip. It's a scenic and practical way to get around. Yu Garden is something I knew very little about. Built over 400 years ago during the Ming Dynasty, Yu Garden is a place stuck in time that beautifully shows Chinese design in incredible landscapes. Welcome to Yu Garden. Yes, sir. Ah, pretty nice actually.
While Yew Garden was originally a private garden, it is now a historically significant location and site for tourists. While we didn't go inside the garden on this trip, it is something we'll be doing next time that we're here. We explored the touristic sites that surround the garden with various markets and food stalls. We are going to find our bus. And um, where are we going? The tower, oh, right? Yes, Shanghai Tower. <laughs> That's all. <awkward. laughs> Um, we're现在等三号线去东方明珠，这是二号线，所以下一班应该就是我们的车。啊，我们现在要离开城隍庙。How uh, do you feel about New Garden? Mm, beautiful. After leaving Yew Garden, we caught the bus which took us underneath the river and on the other side to the financial district of Shanghai, Pudong. Uh, we've just arrived at Shanghai Tower, uh, 4.30 on the dock and our booking is 4.30 to 6.30 so we're gonna go up there now. The Shanghai Tower soars at 632 metres with 128 floors, ranking as China's tallest building and the third tallest building in the world. Constructed from 2008 to 2015, the tower is home to the world's fastest elevators, reaching impressively fast speeds of up to 20.5 metres per second. The view from Shanghai Tower is mind-blowing. While we arrived here shortly after 4.30, we stayed until the lights of Shanghai lit up just after 6 p.m. To be honest, we could have stayed on the 118th floor of Shanghai Tower all night. 
After leaving the tower, we returned to the bus and headed back to see the beauty of Yew Garden at night. We then went to Yu Xingji, a restaurant known for crab noodles and traditional Shanghai food. Oh, 我这个很大好 啊，没有啥子。这个是。呃，这个就吃了啊，这个就这个。嗯，谢谢。嗯。这是小菜，就就吃了。这是有保价。嗯。嗯。It's good. 应该是Fuji是吃小方面。How do you feel?Love that.Ah,the fish,really,I'm,sweet,and,sour.Um,yeah,I think,yeah,I think it's really authentic,like,a,local food.Mm-hmm.It's hard to find from other places,so,I think it